please click on subscribe button to get latest news updates from across the world. Investigator goes rogue to expose Obama's unbelievable shipment to the Middle East. Recently, another one of Obama's anti-American plots with Muslim terrorists was exposed and could go down as one of the biggest scandals in United States history. It was discovered that in order to appease Iran, Obama purposely derailed all efforts by the FBI and DEA to prosecute a Hezbollah's drug trafficking and money laundering operations out of fears that prosecuting them would indisputably disrupt his treasonous nuclear deal with Iran. The disturbing new information came out about how Obama continuously helped ISIS terrorists, and it is pushing the fire that was originally ignited to have him brought up on charges of treason. Many of us suspected and knew in our hearts that Obama has purposefully put dangerous arsenals into the very hands of ISIS terrorists after learning about his gun-running scheme in Libya where he armed the Free Syrian Army which was later discovered to be the front group of ISIS and not freedom-fighting rebels. But now a rogue investigator is breaking rank to reveal the startling information against the former president. Conservative Daily Post reports, it's no accident that us supplied weapons made it into the hands of ISIS, says anti-war activist Cindy Sheehan. She places blame squarely at the feet of Obama's CIA. The CIA wanted the weapons to get into the hands of the extremists, she declares. Sheehan thinks it was part of Obama's plan to destabilize the Middle East and control resources. International Arms Monitor, Conflict Armament Research, CAR, examined 40,000 recovered weapons left behind by retreating ISIS troops since 2014. In a report described as the most comprehensive to date about how the Islamic State obtained and fielded its weapons, they note that one batch of U.S. military weapons covertly supplied to extremist Syrian rebels were being used by ISIS only two months after delivery. According to Sheehan, it isn't likely that ISIS outsmarted U.S. intelligence. I think it is incorrect to assume that the CIA-US is losing control of its weapons. It seems much more likely that Washington and the CIA wanted the DACE forces in Syria to have control of many US-supplied heavy weapons, including missiles. Conflict armament research has had field investigators combing the battlefields across everywhere ISIS held a position in Iraq and Syria since 2014. Tagging along with government and local fighting forces they study every piece of the ordnance they can locate. But it didn't just stop at weapons. Even chemical agents used to make explosives were also sent to ISIS. Weapons, ammunition, even chemicals used to make explosives are all sifted through and catalogued. The findings they just released show that often, weapons shipped to local groups have the unexpected result of benefiting the enemy. The unauthorized transfer of munitions that were originally intended to benefit groups fighting in an already chaotic and violent environment eventually found their way to ISIS. Obama's covert operation worked to arm moderate Syrian rebels battling President Bashar al-Assad. Some of those arms included rockets that were recovered in Iraq, paid for by the United States and then shipped to Syrian groups. In one instance, PG-973 mm rockets, sold by Romanian arms manufacturers to the U.S. Army in 2013 and 2014, were found sprinkled across both battlefields. Containers with matching lot numbers were found in eastern Syria and recovered from an Islamic State convoy in the Iraqi city of Fallujah, the report states. This is just merely a speck of new evidence of the Obama-led treason against our country. On top of learning about Obama's direct involvement with arming ISIS and how he protected Hezbollah's drug trafficking and money laundering operations by derailing active investigations by both the FBI and DEA, it is also known that Obama allowed the Taliban to become the world's number one producer in heroin which affords them the ability to have the funds for their future terror attacks on America and the rest of the Western civilizations. Obama has been working alongside the Taliban in Afghanistan for a very long time to ensure that the terror group would become the world's top leader in heroin. Their enterprise is now generating billions of dollars for the terror group to carry out their operations against the West. The Taliban in Afghanistan has spent over a decade funding their operations from opium farms and their mass production of heroin. This was able to take place under the Obama administration which refused to target their illicit operations. 
Obama allowed the Taliban to become the world's top producer of heroin, generating dollar billions for the terrorist outfit, Conservative Daily Post reported. Political commentator and syndicated columnist Charles Crothammer said in light of these startling new details, that Barack Hussein Obama needs to be immediately arrested for his crimes against America. If a company did this, a CEO would be in jail right now, he stated on a recent segment on Fox News. Aiding and abetting the enemy of the United States is the textbook definition of treason, which is exactly what Obama did for the past eight years. Not only has ISIS risen to power with the massive stash of American weapons they have at their disposal, but the Taliban and Hezbollah now have a multi-billion dollar drug enterprise they're using to fund terrorism against the West. Ironically, it is a double hitter from the heroin trade. The drug epidemic in America has risen just as fast as the funds for the terrorists bleeding their dope into our country, which literally means Americans who have a drug addiction are helping pay for attacks in our own country and most of them have no idea. President Trump has been cracking the whip as far as going after these terrorists and their heroin farms, and now it is time for him to also push to go after Hussein Obama with a vengeance and show the world what happens to traitors who sell us down the river in order to further the cause of Muslim terrorists who have vowed to kill us.